Okay, continuing on from where we left off from um, M1 June 2012, finished part A. Okay, it says at time t seconds after projection, p is 19 meters above A. Okay, so if we could just quickly look back, you can see that this was the situation. The particle was projected from 19 point, oh, sorry, 17.5 meters above the horizontal ground. It went up until it reached zero velocity. We don't know how high that is. Then it came down again until it hit the ground going at 28 meters per second. And we have worked out that the initial velocity with which it was thrown was 21 meters per second. That's what we had to work out. So now, what the second part of the question is asking is, at time t seconds after projection, p is 19 meters above a, find the possible values of t. Okay, so again, what we have here, same situation, it's being projected from um, above the ground. Move that over there. Okay, so that's the horizontal ground. Let's say that's 17.5 meters above the ground. Okay, that's from where the point a bit, um, uh, from which it is being projected, and that is a point A. That is a point A. Okay, that's like our zero position. That's where it starts from, and it's projected upwards. Okay, as we saw before. Okay, and it reaches the top of its flight, and then it comes down again, and it hits the ground. Now, there's a certain point where it's 19 meters above A. Not above the ground, above A. Okay, that's important. So, there's a certain point where it reaches a certain height of 19 meters above A. Okay, so above A, okay, it reaches a point of 19 meters. Okay, so that's the level when it's at 19 meters, we could say. Okay, so this is 19 meters above A. So it reaches 19 meters above A on its way up and then it reaches it 19 meters above A again on its way down. That's why it says the possible values of T. So there's one time when it's 19 meters above A as it's going up and the other time when it's 19 meters above A as it's going down. Okay, so we have to find those two values. Okay, so basically we need to find the values of, of T, the time, okay, when the displacement of the particle above A is 19 meters. So let's again write down everything we know. As I said, it's going to be projected upwards. As it's projected upwards, we'll take up as positive. Okay, uh, that's the initial projection. We know now the initial velocity was 21 meters per second. Even if you couldn't show it, we could still use it because they told us that. All right, we didn't, don't need to know um, how high it's above the horizontal ground because that's not really to come into play here. It would have been if they told us it's not a certain number of meters above the ground, and then we would have to know, um, use that. Well, we don't have to use this here. Um, but we, what we're going to use is the fact that gravity is acting down, g, 9.8. We don't know the speed going up or going down, so let's just write down everything we know again with SUVAC. Now, this is a different situation here, because now the displacement here is positive 19 meters. It's 19 meters above our zero position, we're taking up as positive. U is 21 meters per second and it's positive because we're taking up as positive and it was projected upwards. V we don't actually know, okay? The V would be uh, the same speed actually both ways, but we don't know what it is, okay? The acceleration is minus 9.8. I said speed would be the, V would be the same uh, in terms of the speed, but not the direction. One would be going up, one would be going down, but we don't really need to know that in this question. And T we need to find. So we've got to think about all the equations we can use with S, U, A, and T. Those are the things that we can use. And we know there's one of the equations of the motion, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And we can see that T is the unknown, what we have to find. And you can see that this looks like it's going to give us quadratic, which will give us two values of T which kind of fits in with uh, the way the question is being asked. We have to find two values of t, more than one value, okay? So let's put everything in the right place. So we've got 19 equals u, which is 21 times t, plus a half times a. Now, a is minus 9.8, as I said, because it's acting, and gravity is acting down. We're taking up as positive because that's how it was initially thrown. So it's a half times minus 9.8 times 
t squared. So this gives us 19 equals 21t minus, this is going to give you 4.9t squared. A half of 9.8 is 4.9. Okay, let's bring everything onto one side as we do with quadratics. So we have 4.9t squared minus 21t plus 19 equals 0. So we see this is going to give us two values of t which are both positive, which makes sense. Okay, so we can use the quadratic formula here. Okay, we've got minus b. Remember, it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so our a is 4.9, our b is minus 21, and our c is 19. So we have minus b, so it's minus minus 21, which is 21, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 21 all squared, which is going to give you 21 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4.9, times c, which is 19, all over all over 2 times a, 2 times 4.9. Okay, you stick that into your calculator and you'll get your answer. Okay, so we have 21 plus or minus, so I'll just put, use a plus first, the square root of 21 squared, we don't need to put the minus because it's going to become positive, minus uh, 4 times 4.9 times, oops, let's close the bracket properly, times 19 all over 2 times a 2 times 4.9 okay hopefully that will work so you get 15 plus root 35 over 7 so you got 15 plus or minus root 35 over 7 okay so the two times are 15 plus root 35 over 7, which gives us 2.988. Okay, and the second time is 15 minus root 35 over 7. So just go back, change all the way back here, and change that to a minus. Okay, and we get... 1.297, 1.297. So we can now write our answers down as the times are 2.99 and pen's not working very well today. And 1.30. Okay, those are the three SF. Now, as we used G we could write our answers as um, to two decimal places, uh, sorry, to two significant figures as we use 9.8. So this could be actually written as, this could be written as um, 3.0 and uh, 1.3. Those are also possible answers. This is acceptable and this is also acceptable in the M1 mark schemes, okay? Two decimal play, two two sorry two significant figures because we use nine point eight. Okay, as we used G we, as nine point eight, therefore we can use um, two significant figures as an answer, or we can use three SF. Okay, here we're going to use three SF. Okay, and here we're going to use two uh, two SF as we wish. Okay, um, both of them are acceptable. All right, so there we have the answer to part B, and I'll do the next video on the. Um, I'll do the next part, sorry, in the next video.